Good morning, everyone. Hey. It's a Saturday. Is it still morning time? Yeah. Yes. It's 11. <laughs> 11 a.m. Saturday. And we are at the Pearl Ridge Farmer's Market. Yep. Which, this was like an impromptu stop. Yeah. We just we were driving by and saw it, so I said, figure, why not? Yeah. So, we're going to check it out. And I'm not sure if this is the same one that we went to that was at the top in the Macy's parking lot. I'm thinking it probably oh, is. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. I'm I thinking don't... it is because they're doing a um, drive-in movie mm, up there up this there. afternoon. Okay. So, I'm wondering if they, like, cordoned that all uh -huh. off. I, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> um, let us know yeah. if it's the same market or not. So, yeah. yeah, we just were spontaneously stopping by. Also looking for uh, something to eat because it's 11 o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. Just yeah. got coffee. Yeah, well, we stopped by the, what's it called, Pancakes and Waffles. I think Pancakes that's the restaurant. Waffles. Well, no, let's start at the beginning. We were, our mission was. Yes. We were going to go to the Button Up Cafe because I watched Mama from Hawaii's video uh, yesterday. And that's where she and her mom went. And I said, oh my gosh, those uh, stuffed French toast, overstuffed French toast. Yes. I said, we got to try it. So we went there, but the parking lot was full and there was a wait outside. So we, we just couldn't do it. <laughs> yes. So then we went over to Starbucks at the Waimalu, is it Waimalu? Mm -hmm. Waimalu, Waimalu Shopping yes. Center. And we were going to uh, get Starbucks there. But then I realized that um, the Pancakes and Waffles breakfast place is right next door. Yeah. So we went in there. We actually stood in line stood and everything. Line, but yeah. when we got to the front... Um, the, the cashier. cashier said, you know, it's a 40 minute wait for everything. And we minutes. already weren't going to sit inside anymore yeah. because it was packed. So we were just going to get it to go. So we said, ugh, never yeah, mind. Forget it. It's not going to work out today. We'll uh, breakfast to places, y'all. Yeah, they get so busy. But um, so we're here. We're hopefully we'll find something to eat. And if not, we'll find some place to, to get something. Uh, but we were just going to check out the farmer's market and see what's going on. Yep. All right. <laughs> your tinctures and stuff there. yeah so the majority of them have Thank chocolate you. peppermint Thank majority you. of them have well this one this tincture is just pure cbd oil okay. so a thousand milligrams of cbd um all the hemp is grown on maui so it's local cbd um these have the cbd in them but just different things like this one's for stress i have one for sleep other another one is for digestive issues mm -hmm. and then muscle and joint pain here okay. and then this one's for hormonal balance so all ages these two do not have CBD. This is like, you know, golden milk. Yeah. The turmeric, you can use that to easily make golden milk. Okay. Yeah, just add it to your favorite non-dairy milk. And then the magnesium is the one on the end. I just ordered some magnesium shoes. Because I have... Oh, shoes? Oh. Yeah, because I have um, PCOS. Okay. And it's giving me some restless leg syndrome. Oh, I just had a lady, like literally two minutes ago, her grandson has that at night. And they use the... The, um, the magnesium. Magnesium yeah. is supposed to help. Yeah. Hey everyone. Hey. So we just left the Pro Ridge Farmers Market and we met up with a really cool vendor. Yes. Uh, Green and Fit Mama and we bought some of her superfood bars. Superfood bars. So this one here has charcoal and dates and this one is chocolate mint. They are both really delicious. She gave us samples. Yes. So we ended up uh, getting some and then we also got something else, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's the happy stick and she actually blends this herself 
and it has it for it's for for women for balanced hormones um it says for pms bloat headaches anxiety irritability cramps water retention stress insomnia gas depression acne um, it does have cbd but it also helps with pain so um you rub it on in the area where you want it like if you're having cramps or something you rub it on the belly area um your back um we carry a lot of tension in our our trapezoids our shoulders mm -hmm. our neck so we can rub it on those areas yeah. but it has really great things in it that are helpful for women like evening primrose jojoba um ho oh, of course the hawaiian cbd is local from maui um clary sage Ylang Ylang, geranium, peppermint, sandalwood, thyme, bergamot, and frankincense. Um, so this is wonderful. All essential oils that I've used before that are actually pretty effective for me to help with these things. So check her out. Follow yeah. her on Instagram. Instagram is a green and fit mama. Yeah, I'll have it on the screen too. <laughs> she was very sweet yes. and and knowledgeable. So and she's check here it out. every Saturday. The Pearl Ridge Farmers Market. Pearl Ridge right? Farmers Market, and then on Sunday she's at the Mililani Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll definitely be coming back. She's got tinctures. She's got some other products, um, and then she has some products that don't have CBD in them that are really helpful. Um, so check her out. So now we're gonna go into Pearl Ridge Center and walk around and probably see where that tram goes, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna attempt to do that today. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's always good. We're at uh, Guava Smoked in Pearl Ridge Center. We stopped to get some lunch. So we got the uh, smoked pork burger and mac salad. Yep. It's good. We had this before. We know it's good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was so good. So good.
We're so excited. We have our library cards. Library cards. We're official now. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you'll see all the footage of inside the library. Uh -huh. This is the Hawaii State Library. Hawaii State Library. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was really big in there. It's a big, it's a library. big library. And I do recall when I um, was going to college here at HPU, um, coming here quite often. I love the library and I love this library in particular. There are a few libraries across the state that you can actually use the card at, which is awesome. But this is the one that I was familiar with. Yeah. Um, they still use the stamping system, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, never have I seen that in yeah. ages and ages. Because uh, when we were in San Diego, when we go to the library and check out books, it just, you know, you set it on the yeah. table, it scans it automatically. But yeah. here, when I saw her stamping it, I'm like, whoa, that's so like, yes, like an, cool. <laughs> an actual library person, library yeah. tech, was stamped our books and checked them out to us. Our libraries in San Diego, you scan them yourself. So yeah. I have like a whole little system and they don't use the little stamp cards anymore. Yeah. So but we I love hey, it. I dig it. I yes, so we cool. love it. So <laughs> just um, trivia about us. When we got married, we didn't have like a big wedding. We had a wedding celebration dinner party. Mm -hmm. And the invitation for the dinner was those old fashioned stamp library cards. Yeah. Um, so we are very much nerds and bibliophiles. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you um, get your library card, y'all. Y'all yeah, don't have check one. Check it out. They're not really having a whole lot of events and stuff going on right now because of COVID. They haven't gotten back into it. Yeah. But um, if you have not made your way down here to the State Library, check it out. It's beautiful. It's, yes. It's very wonderful. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And just on a side note, um, I wanted to mention like what we're reading right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm currently reading a Never Finished by David Goggins and uh, Viola Davis's book. Kind of, I kind of read multiple books at the same time. And what do you, what have you been reading? Um, I actually just finished a um, audio book. It's The Deep by River Solomon. Um, there's a lot of it has ties to African American history here um, or all over the world. Um, it's talking about the diaspora and stuff like that, but it's actually a, a fantasy sci fi fiction. Yeah. And um, it's amazing. And they gave this great um, recap of the themes and how it connected to African American history. And it's just about how when um, slaves were. Uh, brought across the ocean they the ones that would fall into the ocean or they would actually commit suicide or be pushed off into the ocean mm -hmm. the ones that died at sea um they Oops. evolved into um water faring creatures hominids um mermaids right just, so that is what that book is about the deep by river solomon just finished that nice but i got some nice sci-fi books today <laughs> yeah she loves sci-fi uh, so we want to know what you guys are reading so if you're uh currently reading or just finished a book leave it in the comments yeah let us know we love young adult well i love young adult sci-fi fantasy series so if you know of some good ones and i've read a lot a lot but um, let us know what your suggestions are. Nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hey everybody, we are at Joy Cup Noodle House Mean and we came here last night and it was the so we came back again very next day so <laughs> we're waiting for our food right now ready <laughs> so delicious <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. We love that song. 
I'm looking all crazy. Sorry, y'all. We, we just showered. Okay, anyway. Just got home. We always play music. <laughs> we were on a roll. Hopefully, you won't get a copyright strike or else I got to edit that all out. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> y'all family, just join in. Sing. Sing along. That was a sing-along snippet. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, we stopped by Joy Cup Noodles House Mean because... Man, that place is so good. We tried it for the first time yesterday and yeah. ended up go going right back. It was so good. Oh my gosh. So we're going to show you uh, what we got. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're in the area, check them out. They're at, I believe the address, is, I'll have a link below, but I believe the address is 1608 Kalakawa Avenue. And yes, awesome, awesome place. Yes, love it. <laughs> and um, the owners, uh, the wife's name is Lulu. Lulu. She yeah. is very sweet. Very she makes sweet. everything um, to order. To order. Yeah. Like she's in there. She's making things with love. Yes. It's soul food. Yes. <laughs> and you'll understand why when you go. Yes. So. But we overall we had an excellent day. Um, here we go trying to recall everything because you know <laughs> I'm like, what the heck did we do? What do we do? So. We got coffee. We got Starbucks. Starbucks. We, we tried to have breakfast at Button, Button Up Cafe. and and the pancake and, and the waffles. pancake and waffle place. Yeah. Um. Then we ended up going to the uh, farmers Pearl Ridge market. Farmers Pearl, market. Yeah. Then we had guava smoke, which was guava delicious. smoke at Pearl Ridge Center. Yeah. Yeah. We had the pork burger. Smoked pork burger. Smoked pork burger. Delicious. Delicious. Always good guava smoked. Then we went to the library. Then we went to the library. So that was fun. Yeah. And got our library cards. Mm -hmm. Got some vintage sci-fi books for me to read. <laughs> I am like shaking to start reading. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. And so now we're wrapping up. We're going to show them the food really quick. Yep. And that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so hope you guys love this video. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for liking. Don't forget to click that bell so you're notified every single time we post new content. And we appreciate you guys so much for interacting with us. Your comments. We love it. Yeah. And we then, love it. Uh, hopefully we'll be going live today if you're watching this on Sunday. Yeah. So <laughs> today we're talking about the future. So yeah. it's actually tomorrow. Which is 122. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> January 22nd. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That's another reason why you want to make sure you click that bell so you can get all of our notifications. Because if we go live, which we're going to try to start doing, yes. you'll be notified. And you can join in with us and we can chat and do all that good stuff in live yeah. time. Um, all right. Let's show, let's show them the food. Okay. Break. <laughs> it's a little break. Hi, Lula. Say hi. Say hi, Lula. Rub the belly. Rub the belly. Lula. Say hi, Lula. Lula. Lula, what you do? Oh, oh, you oh do? boy. Oh, oh boy. Lula. Oh, Lula. <laughs> oh, Lula, what you do? Lula. What you do, Lula? Lula. Oh, Lula. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, oh. a twist. Boy, a twist. <laughs> hi, Lula. There you go. <laughs> All right. So we've got blanket noodles, and they come with the soup to broth to put in. Of course, I we got ours level six spicy, so it came with some chili in there. I mixed it all up. Dan Dan noodles, pot stickers, which are pretty popular there. She said, the sesame chicken, sesame chicken, so good, <laughs> and the rice, which she is adamant you have to eat with the sesame, with the sesame chicken. Yeah. So that's what we're having uh, for dinner and. We've had everything but the pot stickers, but she said these are very popular. All right, guys. All right, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. We appreciate you as always. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.